welcome back now in this video we will see how to import data from microsoft excel in ltrix ltrix can import data from multiple data sources let us see the first example from excel so very first thing i have to create a new workflow to create a new workflow i can click on file tab and click on new workflow there are many more methods you can press ctrl n from a keyboard so let's say first of all new workflow and second method i can just click on this plus sign to create one more workflow and if i want i can press ctrl n from my keyboard and new workflow is created so by default the name would be new workflow one but since i have already created five new workflows before starting the recording so the name is given six seven and eight now let's say i'm on six i'll close the seven and eight workflow not required now if you want to import data from excel first of all let me show you the file what data we have the name of the file is 2.1 get data from excel and there are total three sheets orders people and return now you might have heard about amazon flipkart all these are e-commerce website so whatever data is generated whatever purchases are done those are getting recorded so here if you observe I have multiple columns. So I have row ID, order ID, order date, shipping date, all the columns are present. Now this data is very good data because it has everything. It has date, it has text, then we have geographical data type like city, country, region, postal code and also we have numerical columns here. If I scroll on the right hand side, you can see all the numerical columns like sales, profit, discount and quantity. Now there are other sheets as well like people and returns which we'll see in the coming section but for time being I want to import this sheet named as order sheet. So very important thing you have to first close the file. The When the data set is closed only then you can import the data in Ltrix. Here if you want to get data we have to go to in and out. Here we have the option as input data. So I can drag this input data into this canvas. When I drag and drop, you can observe the window on the left hand side is known as configuration pane. Depending upon the option, whichever you pick, the configuration pane will change. Let us pick up first of all Excel file. So I have to click on this small drop down button and I'll be getting this dialog box which will ask me to pick up data from various data sources. It can be from flat files like Excel, CSV, zip file, or it can be from data sources like SQL, Oracle, Hadoop, Big Data, etc. In this case, I will just click on files because it's an Excel file. Click on select file and I can pick up that 2.1 get data from Excel. Now I can click on open. Now, this again one dialog box comes which will ask you in that excel file there are many sheets please select at least one sheet so i can click on this drop down and pick up whichever sheet in this case i'll select orders the other options are if you do not want the entire sheet 16000 columns millions of records you can be very specific and pick up some name range or you can just import list of sheet names in this case, I'll just keep as order sheet. And now I can click on OK button. Here, if you observe, this options will change on the left hand side. Some options are given. At the bottom, you'll be getting preview of data. These are like approximately 100 records, exactly 100 records. Now, the results pane at the bottom is totally empty. Nothing is there. So if you want to see the results, you have to press Ctrl R from a keyboard. Ctrl R is a shortcut for run run will execute your command so here i can just click on this run button on the right hand side when you execute it will take few seconds and it will display this message window that it has taken approximately 4.2 seconds to execute the query to pull data from that excel file so i'll just click on ok button now let us see what data it has pulled it has picked up 21 fields or 21 columns it has picked up 3000 records out of 9994 records i can say 9994 records so it has a capacity or a limit i can say 1 mb data it can be 1 mb it can be 3000 4000 anything but 1 mb data it will pick up 
if you are appearing for a certification exam or a certification they might ask you what is the data set limit 1 mb you can also obviously increase the data set to full data or 5 20 30 mb that is possible so right now if you observe these are 21 columns here and 3000 records now let us see what are the options on the left hand side window which is record limit i can just type here and i'll say i don't want all records i just want first four records so i'll type here four and click on run button so now once i click on run it took just 0 0.6 seconds and when i click on this window only then i'll be able to see the data you see how many records it has picked up now total four records so on the left hand side the limit was 100 but it has picked up only first four records so you can just limit you can customize the options here let us see what are the other options the second option is file format suppose tomorrow instead of excel the format changes csv or ms access you can click on drop down and you can choose the file format no problem the third option is table or query so if i click on this button I'll be getting the same dialog box so you can choose another table from this excel file so for time being obviously i'll just keep it as excel and click on ok there are some other options but right now i'll not show you all the options i can show you fifth option here so the fifth option says like output file name so this data i have picked up from excel file but suppose if i want a separate column somewhere named as it will give me name of that file carefully observe these are 21 fields so i'll tell them that i just want the name of the file i don't want the path i just want name now once i select click on this run button number of columns will increase to 22 if i click on run button and if i click on ok and here if you observe these are 22 columns which are displayed what is the 22nd column if i scroll on the right hand side you can see the last column is file name and the file name is get data from excel file that was the name of the file here okay now this has you know got the output here obviously we can do many things on this like cleaning appending deleting modifying applying formula etc but for timing we'll just leave it here and the last thing i can do is save this file save this workflow so i can go to file click on save button and i can just go to some desktop might create a folder i'll write as output files enter and let's say name i'll give as 2.1 get data from excel in ltrix now the type of file will be saved as dot yxmd that is the designer workflow this is the format it will save so you can click on drop down and you can choose some other format but for timing we'll keep it as dot yxmd and click on save once it is saved you can see the same name would be displayed on the workflow tab and also on the top of the heading there okay same thing will be there so we can do many more things in ltrix but for timing we have done just getting data from excel i hope you have understood that's all for this video